Hey guys! If you're like me and you sometimes use a DAW like Ableton Live to create music, you know that it can be very time consuming, confusing and sometimes you just get stuck on something and it can be very difficult to move forward. Um, like this piano sample that I made the other day for example. I really like the vibe of it but I'm not really sure what to do with it. Alright, so we're now in Ableton Live uh, and as you can see here this is my MIDI file for my uh, piano sample that I made and I've recorded that into an audio track uh, which is here. Uh, just play that back. Cool, so I'll just export that to my desktop. Drag it in there and hit export. Cool, so here's my sample. Now I'm just going to drag that over using AirDrop and share it with my iPad. Okay, so on your iPad, just hit accept. And I want to open this file using Bloxwave. I've already labeled my sample with the BPM and key metadata, uh, which Bloxwave has automatically detected. So I'm just going to import this file. And yes, I want to assign it to that pad. Cool, so my sample is in Bloxwave. Now let's see what we can do with this. All right, so by using the discover mode, I'm just gonna add some drums to this piano loop. All right, so now I'm going to start slicing up my piano loop to make it a bit more interesting. Uh, the slicer allows you to chop up a piece of audio um, uh, so you can make it your own, basically. Um, and the slicer is really powerful, but we'll cover that in more depth in another video. For now, I'm just interested in making something that sounds good. Uh, I actually found a bass loop earlier that I'm going to use, I think. I've actually noticed that my piano loop is a bit harsh uh, in the mix, so I'm just going to open up the EQ um, and fix that a little bit. The easiest way to access all of these advanced features is with the Pro Features Bundle, and that will give you everything you need to do what I just did. I hope you found that helpful, and happy music making!